Vlog Simber, day seven going down. Uh, happy Wednesday to all of you all. It's about 1229 here in the balmy Midwestern state of Omaha, Nebraska. Uh, right now it's running about 29 degrees and hopefully you all are uh, staying warm or staying cool because uh, not everywhere is cold in the world, wherever you're listening at. Uh, today I just want to talk to you all about work ethic. What is work ethic? What does that look like? How do people put together a good work ethic? And I think when I sit back and think of those two words, what a lot of folks are really saying to break it down even further are what are the habits that you have uh, to make yourself have a good work ethic, right? I think when I think personally of what makes up a good work ethic, um, I think of uh, being able to accomplish a lot in the period of time that you have to accomplish it. Uh, Seeing success from that time that you have and uh, not only using that time wisely and seeing the fruits of the labor, but also identifying the tasks that need to get done for you to move forward in a positive direction. So when you look for examples of work ethic, you know, your business owner, uh, your high level achiever that may be in C-suite management, that may even be a manager of you, you know, and you see them, they have, uh, they have those qualities that I talk about and then they have a little bit more. They always seem to want to do more. They always seem to want to accomplish more and all of that. But in, when you look at that and you break it down even further, what are some of the habits that they have? For some that may be, uh, I read one one day on Instagram that uh, some of the most high achieving uh, people in the world, they do one simple task every day. And that's get up and they brush their teeth, right? They just they just simply get up and that's literally the first thing they do. They brush their teeth and then they get the day started. So that one habit can snowball into uh, more effective things that that could make up a good work habit. Uh, some people work out first thing in the morning, myself included. Uh, I don't think I work hard, but I've been told I have a good work ethic. And, you know, those habits like that just compound into bigger things over the course of time. Now, to be fair, uh, a lot of the habits that you have that are good won't snowball you into having a good uh, work ethic. Like, let's just put that out there, that it won't snowball into you having a good work ethic and that's okay if you do if you play video games really well right you're probably not necessarily going to have a good work ethic however if you get up before everyone else in your house you have some quiet time to reflect journal meditate and then you get the day started then your mind is clear for work so that's all you have on your mind and that may be something that you snowball into creating that that uh, work ethic that I'm talking about. So with that being said, don't look at the overall finished product of what a good work ethic is. What I'm asking you is I'm asking you to look at the habits that break down into building that work ethic and then identifying those habits that you have, discarding the ones that don't bear you any fruit, reestablishing ones that will or establishing ones that will, and then going from there and building that house, that that mansion that that you see that people have when we say, hey, you work really, really hard. That's not overnight. It's not overnight. Uh, Again, even if you don't hit the metrics, forgive yourself. Right. But also still hold your feet to the fire. What did we talk about yesterday? We talked about holding your feet to the fire. If you miss a mark, that's accomplishable. If it's not accomplishable or if it's out of your control, then that's something that you cannot worry about. 
However, the majority of things that you can control that you that you worry about, then if you can fix it, hold your feet to the fire. All right. That's all I got for today. Uh, There was no workout done today. It was a rest day, which is why you see an amalgam of a bunch of different footages. Uh, It's literally stuff that I needed for the background uh, video because I just didn't want this just to be audio. So there was no rhyme or reason to the what the workout that you saw. It was just me lifting. Uh, One part of that was at a John Meadows seminar back in uh, 2017, 18, something like that. Uh, that I went to in Madison with uh, my buddy Nick. So, but in any event, I hope you enjoyed today's talk. Hope you find those habits. Hope you reestablish those habits. And when you do, let me know. Like and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment. Let me know what habits you formed. I know for me, it's staying up and trying to get something done after an early morning workout. Uh, whether it be for 10 minutes to an hour, uh, I'm staying up. So, you know, just something to think about. All right. You guys have a wonderful day and we'll see you tomorrow.